Hi guys, welcome to Pen and Plate. Today we're doing a plan with me for the week of June 17th to the 23rd. So I've already started um, making my chart. This is where I track my habits and um, track my water. Um, usually, like in the first time I tried this, I did, <laughs> I did it on camera and it took a long time. So this week, I've already made it beforehand. I like to track four um, habits, and um, then I also like to track my water since it's like hella hot um, now in Sacramento. Um, so I like to track when I work out, um, my meditation, and eating out. And right now I'm also doing water flossing. I just went to the doc, uh, dentist this past week, and my dentist had talked to me about getting a water pick, I think it's called, and um, using that instead of floss just to help um, my gums. They get a little irritated, and so this should help strengthen them over time. Um, for me, also, like meditation, I just want to go back to that. That's something that's super important to me. Um, and so, yeah, um, it's something that clears my mind, and I like to do at least 5 to 20 minutes a day, depending on how much time I have. And eating out, uh, that's a habit I like to track because it helps always remind me what my goals are. And for me, when it comes to budgeting, um, eating out is somewhere where I can go a little crazy. And like I said, since I'm upping my workouts recently um, to actually working out, <laughs> let's be honest, um, tracking my water is pretty important. Um, I usually get between four and six cups of water a day. I usually drink out of mason jars that are, I guess, quart size, and so I guess four to seven quarts of, or four to six quarts of water each day. Oh, so, yay! <laughs> Got that done. And so I, this week again, I'm using the Midline highlighters. I got them for my birthday last week, and or I guess a couple of weeks ago, and I'm just adoring them. Um, I really like colors that are oceany, like grays, mauves, purples, moody purples, um, turquoises, and this seems to have, this collection seems to have a lot of those, so I've been pretty excited. But let's be honest, I am um, low on my washi game, so actually I might make new washi for myself next week. Because right now I only have this Goals washi tape left in the turquoise. And although it is beautiful with the foil, um, I kind of want something that matches those grays. So maybe I'll give it a try next week. Um, I've done a couple of other sticker projects for myself. Mostly um, for my upcoming trip. I'm making a gift for my friend who's coming out, as well as myself to use, and I'll probably show that later on in the month. But um, I guess why not try to do stickers for the planner, especially since my washi game is totally uh, lagging these days. All right, so time to get planning. <laughs> so I think what I'm going to do is start with my workouts. Oh my gosh, loving this teal. Again, it's the Midliner Highlighters. Yes, this teal is gorgeous. And so, yep, I'm going to start with my um, workouts. I usually mark them at the top because that's my priority each day, even though I may not do it in the morning. And we'll see how this goes. Um, yeah. This is like a super ambitious plan. Uh, part of it is going to be doing Bogalotti's at home. Um, the person who's who's done Bogalotti's, she's just started this 21 day at home workout. And so I'm going to try that. 
and I'm also going to run on my days that I work from home. Um, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I found that I just don't, I've been having a hard time going to the gym, so we'll see how it works out. All right, finally, work. Um, again, as I preface, I start work um, usually around 6.30 and leave around 3. Um, this definitely changes when I work from home. I'm someone who gets up hella early, and so, um, you know, I might be getting up, depending on when I went to bed or how bored I was the night before. Um, I might have gone to bed, like, right as I got home, so I might start work at 2 a.m. or 4 a.m., um, which, since I run international programs, that's totally fine and doable. So right now, I'm just marking um, my work days, um, and this week is kind of light. It's the end of the month, so all the financials are done. And it's really just getting ready for the marketing for the upcoming summer. And also prepping um, for when, for all of my vacations that I'm taking in July. Um, I want to make sure that I have all of my big projects done for July, or at least a substantial amount of them done before um, July hits. So then I'm just being um, more in a reactive mode rather than um, an intentional mode in July. I don't have to put a lot of thought into um, larger projects. And so again, um, like I was saying earlier, when I do work from home, which I am doing six days this week, oh man, it's rough. Um, I'll probably start early in the morning so that um, the majority of my Saturday I can enjoy. Yes, most likely I will take a nap. I'm so looking forward to that midday nap. Ugh. So um, my phone rang <laughs> and I didn't realize that I was still recording. So I've kind of edited a little bit and added my to-do list. They're in this awesome seaweed green color. Um, this week and I'm in love with it and of course I had to mark the bachelorette um, can we guys talk about how Hannah B is doing <laughs> um, and like I mentioned earlier um, I just added in my newsletter for work some of the marketing that we have to do for these upcoming summer months now I'm using this like really dark purple. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it in the future um, for this purpose. It's just so dark and even when it dried, um, I couldn't really see what I had written. This is to mark my CSA pickup. I pick up a fish CSA from the Monterey Bay every other Wednesday. It I originally got um, it once a week, but it was way too much fish. Um, so now I just get it every other week, and I get two to three servings each time. Um, so on Wednesday, I also have a live passion planner, I guess, planning session on Facebook. And so if you guys don't know, it's through this new group that um, was originally on the passion planner chat forum, I believe. And this is a spinoff group. It's Pash Fam pa Planner Goals and Motivation. And so I'm going to just try it out and see how it is. I've never done a live planning group online before. So I think it'll be interesting. Um, to be honest, I might be working out while that's going on. Um, we'll see. And just like Hannah B, well, actually not like Hannah B, we have Handmaid's Tale, which is another show that I'm following this summer. I've been enjoying this season so much. It's way more uplifting and empowering than other seasons. And can we just say, like, in the last episode, like, why were they able to roam around everywhere? I don't know. Some of this stuff is not seeming believable anymore. Um, Thursday is a pretty easy day. Um, it's just going to have my to-do list. And to be honest... Um, I'm probably going to meal plan that fish that I got the day before. 
Last time I got my CSA, I had tuna, so I did um, seared tuna, and then I also did um, some poke. That's kind of my go-to for summer and fish. So we'll see what we get um, this time. I've gotten an array of things. And Friday is also my brother's birthday. I'm so excited. I just wish he would tell me what he would want for his birthday <laughs> so I can send him a card and a gift. Um, but eventually I suppose he'll tell me. If not, I'll see him later in July and can give him his gift to him in person. But at least I'll give him a phone call and just sing him happy birthday as much as he desires that. <laughs> we'll see how well I sing. Um, and then, yeah, again, um, Friday is probably going to be another day where I'm just doing some catch-up, some laundry, um, maybe some cleaning. I don't really have any shows that day as well. So thinking about when I start about my work day, um, I'm also planning on doing yoga. It'll probably be considered my, like, lunch break. Um, or if I'm super adamant about getting an early work day started, I might actually be almost done um, if I you go to bed at 4 the net on Friday and get up at 12 or 1. Just depends. Um, and then, of course, um, my farmer's market visit with my friend. We get coffee. We buy flowers. We flirt with the cute farmers, and we try lots of good food. And then also this day, I'm really excited. Um, I'm going to the Sacramento Planner Meetup. So this group is a bunch of gals who are local. And we even have like four or five groups within Sacramento, but we all have different planners. And it's really cute. We meet up at the local Ikea, and we eat meatballs, theoretically. It's the meatball meetup. <laughs> um, I've never had the meatballs, but we'll see how it goes. I will probably just have maybe coffee and a sweet. Um, I love Swedish candies, so maybe they'll have truffles or something. And then, of course... Um, the last TV show that I am following this June is Big Little Lies, and I do a viewing party with one of my friends. Um, we go, I go over to her house, and we just have like a little like share meal together. Usually it's something light, like fruit. Some um, br last time I brought artichoke bread that I got from Santa Cruz, and some um, flavored oil that I had made for dipping. So it's just like a really nice night to kind of like wind down the weekend and get ready for the following week. And since my weekend's kind of like all jumbled up into one kind of event <laughs> at this point, I'm going to put a to-do list here and essentially call it my weekend to-do list just to give me a little bit more flexibility with when I choose to work that day. And um, just giving me a little bit more flexibility on Sunday, not necessarily committing to, like, cleaning the house on Sunday. Um, so, yeah. Other than that, I think I'm feeling pretty good about this week. If you guys have any um, suggestions for washi tape, please let me know um, down in the comments below. <laughs> because gir your girl needs some washi. I'll probably get some at this planner meetups this week. Pretty excited about those. Also, don't forget to subscribe, guys. And thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. And until next time, bye.